Hi, I'm Bob Lindy from the Tradition School of Herbal Studies in St. Petersburg, Florida. Today I'm coming to you from the Magical Butter Kitchen talking to you about herbal formulas that we can make for anxiety. And anxiety is a huge problem. People going through their day and they need to not be sedated, but to be able to bring that heart palpitation, that fear aspect down. So there's a couple of herbs that we use on a very regular basis. One of my favorites to start with is rose. And we oftentimes relate within Chinese medicine, but also within other herbal traditions, that anxiety comes from the heart. Whether it's a broken heart, needs to be nourished, or just calm down a little bit, rose is a great starting place. My next choice is always oat tops. And if you're lucky enough to be able to source some fresh milky oats, use that. It's even better than the oat tops. And push comes to shove, you can always use the oat straw. Not quite as strong. This is a mineral rich herb that's so good at moistening, nourishing, and soothing those frazzled nerves that oftentimes comes along with anxiety. And then hops. We always say, have a hoppy day. Hops is one of those things that most of us only know about in beer brewing, but the reality is hops is wonderful for calming the mind down, reducing anxiety, especially when it affects your belly. If you're getting that cramping, spasming digestion, where you feel that anxiety right in your gut, that's the time that the hops is the most effective. It is bitter, so remember, if you add too much, it can be a little hard on the palate. And then Tulsi, also known as holy basil. This is related to basil and comes from India. Although there's a couple of different species, they're all very similar. The holy basil tends to just make everything okay. So it's a mild flavor, aids in the digestion, and just an overall gentle relaxant. Depending on how extreme your anxiety is, kava kava is a great one. Kava kava, even by itself, is one of our first choices for anxiety. When using kava in particular, be careful of any prescription meds, and if you have any liver issues, any kind of cirrhosis or other chronic liver disorders, you might want to skip the kava kava. So we're going to take these herbs, we're going to blend them together, and you have the opportunity. You can just blend them together and make a wonderful hot tea, an infusion that you sip throughout the day. We can put them in the magical butter machine with either vinegar or alcohol in order to make a lasting pre-made extraction of all of these herbs together. Depending on how your symptoms are materializing, you can adjust the dosages, and there's so many other herbs that we could add in for other issues that you might be having. So let's go ahead and blend these together along with about an eight to one ratio of herbs to water. I'm gonna start with 20 grams of each one of these herbs to place in the magic butter machine. I like to cook it overnight. I always set it on eight hours, and we don't want it to be too hot. We're just gonna set it for 130 degrees to create that perfect mixture to extract those herbs in the machine. This is Bob Lindy coming to you from the Magical Butter Kitchen talking to you about herbs for anxiety.